Hello, hello. Welcome back, folks, to Fate Night. Take a seat, relax, get comfy. And I'm going to be teaching you a free vlog. This is a super cute, fun word game. And a lot of times, silly, like, party word games are somewhat easy. And this one is absolutely not. It's actually pretty difficult. somewhat frustrating, but most of the time. <laughs> so, I've never heard anyone talk about this game before, but I just found it at a board game convention. And I'm going to teach you the instructions, but first I just want to run through some silly examples, because I've saved a whole bunch of examples from when I played with my friends. So, I thought we could read through some of these. Uh, hopefully they're entertaining. The concept of Guam is that you are taking a phrase and you have to reword it um, given certain rules and goals. So, one rule is each word may contain an S. You have to rewrite the phrase eat your vegetables. And the goal is to have the longest word. Or sometimes it'll be most words that start with A. Or sometimes it'll be the most rhyming words, things like that. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm actually going to do a quiz style. So I'm going to read you a few and see if you can guess the phrase. More beneficial to have time to spare but still have done the thing. Happiness bestows someone deciding quickness takes precedence rather nicely. Happiness bestows someone deciding quickness takes precedence rather nicely. Oh, precedence again. Tardiness takes precedence beyond not getting there during your lifetime. Tardiness takes precedence beyond not getting there during your lifetime. And this one is my favorite. Tomorrow may be later. However, tomorrow's closer. I said today. <laughs> the phrase is better late than never. I don't know if this one applies, but it is good. Tomorrow may be later. However, tomorrow's closer except today. That's good. All right, here's another one. Slap lap lapels on lower lap or lose limbs in luxurious Lamborghini. What is that telling you to do? Slap lap lapels on lower lap or lose limbs in luxurious Lamborghini. Buckle your seatbelt, of course. Slap lap lapels on lower lap or lose limbs in luxurious Lamborghini. <laughs> Never be presumptuous regarding novels based exclusively inside their beginning. Never, never be presumptuous regarding, oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> never be presumptuous regarding novels based exclusively inside their beginning. Another one. Perceive me based innards rather outside. Perceive me based innards rather outside. <laughs> Perceive me based innards rather than the outside. What do you think it is? Don't judge a book by its cover. Novels kind of gave away the first one. But I really do like Perceive Me Based Innards. It's pretty good. <laughs> I think the goal for this one was to have the most of a given letter. You know, perceive me based innards rather outside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven E's. We also had, we 
We are incorrect when we assume each idea's intent, even excluding the inside's meaning. <laughs> we are incorrect when we assume each inside's intent, even excluding the inside's meaning. That was also a lot of peace. <laughs> One more. Maybe you should place the canine you own on my hand, please. <laughs> What do you think that means? Maybe you should place the canine you own on my hand, please. Can I pet your dog? So that's the end result of this game. <laughs> now I'll take you through the rules. So the setup is fairly simple. You shuffle the three decks, which are the phrases that you have to reword. The goals, so that's kind of like the scoring marker, and then a rule, which is something that can disqualify you. And the drawing of each in the middle of the table so that everyone can see. And then you'll have three minutes, there's a little timer, to fix up any sentence you'd like, as long as it conveys the phrase, meets the criteria of the rule, and then your goal is to do the most of whatever it says on the card. Most of the same vowel. So you'll have this out, you'll wait three minutes, everyone has pencils, you can scribble as much as you want. So when the three minutes is up, you'll read out your phrases. So besides the rule card, there are a few rules. It has to be one grammatical sentence. So not a paragraph, not a run-on sentence. It has to be just one sentence. You can't reuse any of the words that's already in the phrase. So you have ketchup on your shirt, you can't even say you or shirt. But otherwise, you can write anything you want. Once everyone's read their sentences out, you'll determine who hits the goal the best, most of the same vowel in this case. If there is a tiebreaker, then you will reveal a random goal. And of the two people who were tied, see who has the uh, goal. So this one is most ends, most of the letter N. And then you win the game if you win three rounds. So whoever wins that round, they will take the card for themselves to note that they've won that round. Whoever is the first one to three cards wins the game. So yeah, it's pretty simple to learn, but very difficult to master. Uh, I would recommend this game. I think it's, like I said, it's a very hard word game, and most word games can be uh, a little easy, but not interesting. So since this is quite difficult, it's, uh, it's kind of a unique game uh, in my collection, I feel. I would recommend it. The only qualm I have with it is some of the rules have a cap to them. So they have like a rule that says must be exactly five words. And then if you have like the most words beginning with a vowel with must be exactly five words, then a lot of people are just going to tie at uh, five. <laughs> so couple of the rules which aren't like the best, but definitely still worth playing. So yeah, that is Glog. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you again very soon. Have a lovely, lovely, lovely day.